What's up everybody, Jesse here, and today we're going to be finding the location of every new set of DLC masks and armor sets, starting with Majora's Mask. Nintendo did a great job hiding the DLC in various locations all across Hyrule, but the secret to finding everything is very close to the beginning area. We can see the first location here the southernmost building and outpost ruins. The easiest way to get here, if you're not already close, is to warp to the Great Plateau Tower. Look directly east and mark it on your map. You'll easily be able to glide straight to it. From here, you will read a book that gives you the location of every single mask. The first one it tells us about is Majora's Mask. The book is in the corner and reads, I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write down their locations. Obviously not a very good thief telling on himself. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Calamo are visible. Lucky for us, Lake Calamo is directly north of the outpost ruins and the Great Plateau Tower. So we can mark this spot on our map and head straight to it. You can either warp back to the tower and glide there, or simply run. You'll see a metal chest with an X on it half buried in the dirt on the southern side of the outside wall. Use Magnesis to lift it out, and Majora's Mask is all yours. The description of Majora's Mask says, An eerie mask passed down from ancient times. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. If sold, this rare find can't be replaced. Sadly, it only has a defense stat of 1. However, the funny part here is that Tingle's hood alone, just his hood, is twice as powerful as Majora's Mask. But Nintendo did make it a point to say this is only a replica of the mask, and not the actual mask. Which makes me wonder, why was the royal family keeping it hidden in their castle? Anyways, it does have a special ability. It will allow you to blend in with many different types of enemies. It has some funky powers at night, or so Aonuma tells us. And if you wear it while speaking to Kilton, Breath of the Wild's version of the Happy Mask Salesman, he will tell you that you are ruining his business. If you want to find all of the other masks, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe for more helpful advice on Breath of the Wild, as well as weekly top 10 lists and Zelda theories. And, as always, thank you for watching.